Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the Pisces superpower. So Pisces superpower is that they can speak the language of God. I'm going to call the Pisces the Oracle. Pisces lives in an alternate reality. So Pisces understands there has to be more. Because Pisces, when they speak, they normally speak in some sort of word salad jumble, grabbing things from everywhere and bringing them out into one sentence that everyone's like, holy crap, what was that? And that's why they really do find that when they can paint or when they can rhyme or when they can take things and put them out there into something more beautiful, people respond and they understand what they're really trying to say. And that in itself brings forth their psychic ability. Pisces lives in this world that science cannot prove, that reality cannot accept, and that our words and our language cannot understand. But Pisces lives there anyway because Pisces knows that it has to exist. Pisces is the last sign and so Pisces will tell you this is the end. And here is the dramatic twist. It's not the end. We start over. There's more. There is no time, no space. It's outside of everything and it says that we either exist or we don't exist. If you believe in existence, we always exist. And that is the Pisces as a hero to give people hope because what is anxiety and worry except for not believing that there is anything out there past our own reality and what we see. And when the world is on our shoulders and we can't even understand why we are here. Pisces says there is more. So what is Pisces as a villain? I think we should all know where this is going. Pisces live so far out here that sometimes they stay. They escape and they want to live there forever outside of a reality where they don't even value human life anymore. They don't understand if we always exist, why do our bodies matter? Um, maybe they don't exercise. Maybe they don't take care of what is here. Maybe they don't treat other people with respect. Maybe they manipulate others and lie to them. They toy with reality and the people who are in it and who come to them. Their family, their friends, they don't care. They don't value them because they are here on earth. And what does it matter when we all transcend this existence and live on a cloud in the sky one day? What are ways that people live outside of this reality? Drugs, alcohol, strong religions and when you are left living outside of this other people have to take care of you other people have to keep you alive because you are no longer trying to keep yourself alive and that's when you become a giant vortex of suck the evil mermaid pulling people under the ocean with you until they drown and then swimming away and so the pisces has its teammates and the teammates are Cancer and Scorpio and they create the water grand trine. A cancer is a manifester. They put souls into our bodies and the Scorpio is a reaper. They take what is dead outside of that part of us that we can't physically explain and they pull it out. And so what is left except maybe an empty soul and Pisces fills that with goodness, with love, with hope with happiness. The Pisces also has its enemies and the enemies are Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius and together they create the mutable grand cross. There's no greater enemy for the Pisces but Virgo. In Virgo, what are they but reality? And they don't like anything outside of it. They don't want to believe in something that they can't explain or see with their own eyes. And then you have the two signs that anger the Pisces are Gemini and Sagittarius. Gemini is all logic, boundaries. Pisces doesn't like how Gemini has to overly explain things that don't need to be explained by anybody that just need to be felt. And Sagittarius is our belief and it opens up the boundaries but it still will only go as far as what has been explained and what our brains can understand. And Pisces says science hasn't caught up to spirituality, not vice versa. But Pisces actually doesn't care if Sagittarius ever gets there. <laughs> the power that the Pisces has in spirituality and psychic ability and the being able to speak the voice of something we don't understand and to give us hope that when we die and we leave this world that there might be something more for us. And Pisces has kept this world turning and floating in the cosmos before science was able to explain why it was doing that. Pisces knows more than anyone else does and that is Pisces as the Oracle. Thank you so much. Bye.